All right, this picture could do with a little bit of dodge and burn. So what's that? Well, basically dodge and burn lets you up the highlights and make the shadows a little bit deeper. And I'll show you how. Before I do though, I'm gonna crop this picture. It's a nice picture, but could do with being made just a little bit more square. And also this little octopus down there, generally speaking, I try and lose elements like that because they can be just a little bit distracting in the picture. There's no real need for it. So we're going to crop to about there. So we've got a fairly square image. Hit enter. And there we go. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer because especially when you're doing dodge and burn, you want to be able to see the results of what you're doing. All right, let's get started with it. First thing we'll do will be the eyes. Always do the eyes first. People always look at the eyes first to so get that right first. Hopefully things will follow. Right, well, there's a tiny little bit of red eye here, but nothing too bad. So let's work on that to start off with. Come to your burn tool. Now, when you're doing dodge and burn work, always keep your exposure low. Somewhere between 10 and 20% is usual, put it that way. Now, for my brush size, I need, I want a fairly soft brush for this. And I will need it to be smaller, so left bracket key, make it smaller, make it about the same size as the pupil. And we're set to mid-tones at the moment. Let's try shadows, the darker areas. Will that work? Yeah, that's starting to work. That's getting a darker area. Do the same here. All right, that's starting to work there. Now, while we're here, I think these eyelashes could do with a little bit of definition. So I've clicked onto mid-tones. I'm making the brush size a little bit smaller. Let's see how this does. What I'm aiming to do is to make the eyelashes darker. Now, because I've got it to mid-tones, darker areas will be affected. The lighter areas won't. This is very useful. And that is one of the main things about dodge and burn. Let's come back to these, see if we can pick out these, make these a little bit more standy outy. And also just around the edge of the iris, there's normally a dark ring there. I'm going to see if I can bring that out a little bit. Just keep on. You can probably hear my mouse clicking in the background. I'm making repeated strokes, which is the way you do things with dodge and burn to bring out just the edge of the iris. Really nothing too obvious going on because we're gradually building up things. But when we come back to this, when we make this layer invisible and see our original layer, you'll probably see a bit of a difference. OK, I've done that. Now let's come to dodge, which is next to burn. Again, exposure low between 10 and 15 percent. Now I want to affect the highlights. Not necessarily the midtones. Let's Make that highlight a bit more definite. Now you can see it's making the white or the really light areas a bit lighter. Let's come to mid-tones because I don't want that to be such quite such a hard highlight. Let's see if I can make things just a little bit brighter. Let's try come down to shadows, see if that makes a difference. Come back to highlights. I'm making the white to the eye, just a little bit lighter, just in certain areas. I want to keep this very, very subtle. Again, repeated strokes. And maybe just on the opposite side of the highlight, put in a slightly lighter area for the brown. Okay. Let's see what kind of a difference we've made. Make this layer invisible. It's only when you make the layer invisible, come back to it, you realize you've made quite a few changes. Let's zoom out a little bit. Hold down Alt on your magnifying glass. I want to take a look at the hair. So first thing I want to do, come back to my dodge tool. I want to be on highlights. Make this a little bit stronger, say about 15%. Make the brush size larger by tapping the right bracket key. Actually, this takes up to about 20%. And now what I'm doing, wherever I can see a highlight in the hair, 
and clicking on it to make it just a little bit brighter, a little bit more of a golden effect on this boy's blonde hair. Now, because I'm doing the highlights, you can see the shadow areas aren't really affected. But the lighter areas are affected more. Very useful. All right, let's come to my burn tool. I want, let's take a look at the mid-tones for this. Let's see. Yeah, that's starting to work. If I put it onto shadows, you probably see the effect is a little bit too, it's, yeah, you see it's, it's putting down a little bit too much color, even on 15%. So I'm going to control Z a few times to get rid of that. Go back to mid-tones and gradually build this up. You want subtle with dodge and burn for general photography. There'll be one or two times where a bit more extreme will be nice. But by and large, keep it subtle. If people notice that you've done it, they'll call you a filthy rotten cheat. While we're here as well, let's come down just around the area around the mouth and make just the area around his lolly stand out just a little bit more. You see, because the lolly is a slightly darker area than the lips, it's picking out the darker areas of the lolly without affecting the lips. Let's come back to the dodge. I want highlights. Make it a little bit larger. See if we can pick out a little bit of some of these lighter areas. You got to be careful with dodge and burn. It can get a little bit moreish after a while. You think, oh, I'll just do this. I'll just do that, and what have you. Next thing you know, you spent an hour creating a burn and dodge masterpiece. One other thing I should say with it as well is all the exercise we've done up until now, you never needed a pen and tablet. Or whack on make the most popular ones, like a little bamboo tablet and pen, or the Intuos tablet and pen, or if you want to get really fancy and expensive, the Cintiq ones where you can draw using a computer style pen directly onto a monitor. Most of the times you can get by with the mouse, but for stuff like this, a graphics tablet and pen might help you, might make life a little bit easier. Seem to fit. All right, let's see what we've got again. So make this layer invisible and see the difference. Take a look at the hair. The highlights are standing out much more and the shadow areas are standing out much more. Take a look at the air around the mouth and the lolly. So only when you do something like this, when you compare with the original with your new layer, you see what kind of a difference you're making. All right, I think that just about covers the basics with Pixelmator. We'll go on and do some more tutorials, but doing slightly more advanced things. So I'll see you then. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.